I have some brief comments I would like to share with you. Um, in addition to that, we have a few city councilors that will be making comments, as well as our partners from the Jefferson County Health Department, as well as a, the UAB emergency management team. As of today, well, which is very different from 12 days ago, 12 days ago we had zero cases in the state of Alabama. 11 days ago we had our first case. As of today, speaking to you, we now have 196 cases of the COVID-19 in the state of Alabama. 86 of those are here in Jefferson County. At one of our hospitals, UAB, 45 cases. People have been hospitalized. 81 people are, 81 people are under observation. And at least 18 people are on ventilators. Um, that is a very different from 11, 12 days ago. And I think it's very important at this time in our city and community that we take this very seriously. The last few weeks have been unprecedented obstacles that we face in this health crisis. But with the help and guidance of the Jefferson County Health Department, we've been able to navigate these challenging times. The city must take every reasonable effort to slow the spread of this virus. This morning, I presented to the Birmingham City Council a shelter-in-place ordinance for the city of Birmingham. This afternoon, they will take this up for a vote. I want to thank the council for working with me to keep the people who live and work in the city of Birmingham safe. And shelter in place simply means to stay at home. Don't go out unless getting food, gas, or other essentials. Deliveries will still be made. Services will be delivered and a distribution system to our grocery stores pharmacies, and other essential businesses will be uninterrupted. The ordinance has been placed at birminghamal.gov slash coronavirus. Again, the ordinance has been placed at birminghamal.gov slash coronavirus. Shelter-in-place ordinance will be effective today through midnight, April 3rd. Based on the circumstances, this ordinance can be extended. To be sure there is no confusion, I want to share with you the ordinance in detail. The first note, this ordinance does not conflict with Jefferson County Health Department ordinance. Shelter in place does not apply to the following. It does not apply to public safety or emergency service activities like law enforcement, fire and rescue, and emergency management. It does not apply to first responders, public health workers, emergency dispatchers, law enforcement personnel, and related contractors. This shelter in place does not apply to employees and contract workers for utility, cable, telecommunication companies in order to maintain or restore services. And it does not apply to people providing fire, police, sanitation security, emergency and hospital services, food delivery services and other delivery, deliveries of merchandise and mail. In addition, the order does not apply to people seeking essential services or items. It does not apply to people supplying or restocking businesses in order to provide essential services or products. It does not apply to people employed by the federal, state, county, or city government or their agencies working within the course and scope of their public service employment. And it does not apply to people experiencing homelessness within the city. People vulnerable to the most serious effects of the COVID-19 disease must remain at home unless seeking medical treatment. All businesses within the city of Birmingham shall comply with the order of the Jefferson County Health Officer as it currently reads or as it is amended in relation to the closing of all non-essential businesses. People may lawfully leave their resident while this ordinance is in effect to perform essential activities. These essential activities include the following. Visiting a health or veterinary care professional 
obtaining medical supplies or medication, buying groceries for themselves or to deliver to others, providing care for minors, the elderly, dependents, or people with disabilities, returning to your home from outside the city, traveling to one's place of residence outside of the city, traveling to or from a place of business which provides essential services, or engaging in legally mandated government purposes. Under this order, any outdoor activities can take place, such as walking, hiking, running, or cycling. Only solitary activities outdoors are included. Any outdoor activity that requires group or contact with others is prohibited. But social distancing requirements must be followed for those who are outside. Indoor and outdoor playgrounds for children shall be closed for all purposes. No basketball, no football, soccer, or any sport that requires contact at any parks in the city of Birmingham. People who need care for a friend, family member, or pet in another household are able to do so. Again, the ordinance and all details can be found in Bir at birminghamal.gov slash coronavirus. We remain in close contact with Jefferson County Health Officer Dr. Mark Wilson and other leaders. We're also working very closely to provide a comprehensive response to reduce the spread of the COVID-19. We want people to remember traveling under this ordinance must maintain reasonable social distances and practices as available. That includes at least six feet of distance. Please continue to wash your hands with soap and water and use hand sanitizer. Please remember to cough and sneeze regularly, regularly in your shirt or elbow, and remember to clean high touch surfaces. Now I understand that this is a very uncertain and uncomfortable time in our city, our county, and our region, especially considering our history. It was just 100 years ago, the influenza pandemic of 1918 and 19, that our city and our county was hit with the health crisis. I want to remind people who can hear the sound of my voice that as a city and a region, we made a full recovery and a rebound from that. I am more than confident if we take these measures now, we can also recover from the COVID-19 health crisis that is affecting our community now. I know the wounds of the dark times still ache for many in this community, but today is different. Today, we're simply asking you to briefly remain apart so that we may come back together even stronger than ever. I want to reassure you that we will be on the right side of history by making this decision. And it is up to Birmingham to once again set the example for leadership as well as compassion in this region and state.